Okay, in this video, I'm going to continue on with exercise 3A of the book, Fundamental Applied Mathematics. We're on page number 73, and the question is 17. It reads, A particle is projected with initial velocity 12i hat plus kj hat meters per second from a point on a horizontal plane. When its horizontal displacement is 30 meters, it is 9.375 meters above the plane. Find the value of k. So the first thing as normal is to note that gravity is in that direction at a magnitude of negative 9.81 meters per second squared. We define our Cartesian plane or our xy plane and also our unit vectors of i hat and j hat. The next thing to do is to sketch the motion on our velocity time diagram. Remember you always say what's on the y-axis first, velocity time rather than a time velocity. A time velocity di diagram, by the way, would be t up here and meters per second down there. Like so, or velocity down there, excuse me. So let's sketch the motion. We know that it's projected from a horizontal plane, like so, at initial velocity u is equal to, is equal to 12 i hat plus k j hat. like so. And we know of course that u is a resultant vector, well clearly, because it has two components. But anyway, our components in this case are the two vectors which when added together will make u. So it's this vector here and this vector here, each of them just in one of the unit vector directions. This vector here is u sub y and that's equal to k. This one is u sub x and that's equal to 12 like that, u sub x is equal to 12. Alright, what else are we told? We're told a small bit of information about the distances. So the next thing we need to do is break this up into our uh, x dimension and our y dimension. And put in the information that we know. So we know the initial velocity in the x direction is 12, and in the y direction it's k. We know that the acceleration in the x is 0, and it's g in the y. And we know the time, of course, is t. Now we're told in the question that when the horizontal displacement is 30 meters, it is 9.375 meters above the plane. So when this is 30, this is 9.375. We're asked to find the value for k. Alright, this is actually quite straightforward, it's nothing that we haven't done before. So what we need to do basically is equate the two times together. We get the expression for distance here and work out what the time is. Get the expression for distance here and work out what the time is. So let's go ahead and do that. Just for the crack anyway, let's say v is equal to u plus 0t, so let's we'll say 12 again of course. And this here is equal to with uh, 12t. If you do the same over here, it's u which is k plus gt and this here is, uh, I'll write that down in a second, I'll say uh, s sub y is equal to 9.375 uh, is equal to kt plus a half gt squared like so so the first thing anyway is, is it's easy to find here that look t is equal to, 12t is equal to 30, therefore t is equal to 30 divided by 12. So just out of laziness, do that by the calculator and we get that's 2.5. And this is also 2.5. Like so. So we have an expression for time now. And if you look this one here, the only other variable we, do, we, we don't know is k. So therefore if we plug in t into this, we'll get everything in terms of k. So we go 9.375 is equal to k times 2.5 plus, we'll say minus in this case because we're going to put in gravity, like so. Uh, let's just do some, uh, do some algebra. So it's 9.81 divided by 2 multiplied by 2.5 which is squared. That turns out to be 30 
0.65 therefore k is equal to like so Alright, that was pretty straightforward. That's the answer to that question. Thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.